people often ask whether MR-guided focused ultrasound is a safe procedure. Um, safe is a safety is a relative thing, and if you think about MR-guided focused ultrasound as a type of surgery, which it is, it is remarkably safe. And the reason that it's safe is that we don't have to pass through the brain with any instruments. Um, we can access deep portions of the brain in an incisionless fashion. Nevertheless, uh, we are creating a lesion in the brain and there can be side effects from that. The good thing is that this technology, although it's relatively new, uh, has been around for a few years. We've gone through internationally this learning curve of knowing exactly where to target to optimize the beneficial effects and minimize the adverse effects. Um, the, the, the bad effects or the adverse effects depend on what you're treating and where you're targeting within the brain. The commonest indication is for tremor uh, and nearby parts of the brain um, parts of the brain close to the area of the brain that drives tremor can be affected. And they can be affected either by a permanent lesion, in which case you will have permanent side effects, or by swelling around the, the area of the treatment, in which case they're transient, by which we mean they come, but they eventually go. Uh, and the commonest side effects tend to be those of imbalance or problems with articulation, where the speech isn't as clear as it should be, or problems with tingling because you've affected the part of the brain uh, that we feel with. Much rarer part, uh, are side effects where you have weakness of the hand or of the leg. And as I say, because we've got a few good years of experience with this, the risk of side effects has come down. And I think the chance of causing serious permanent side effects is now in the order of one in a hundred. So is it safe? Yes, relatively so. It is, and it's also about patient selection, in which I, by which I mean if you have severe problems with your balance already, you should probably think of other therapies for your tremor. But even if you have mild problems with your tremor, as long as they're adequate, sorry, mild problems with your balance, as long as that's adequately managed um, and precautions are taken, that doesn't rule out the uh, ability to undergo this treatment.